Well, the news keeps on coming along here, guys. We have a new head of 343 Industries. As we discussed earlier, Bonnie Ross is leaving 343. It looked like, though, she was kind of on the way out already, saying that she was waiting till the winter update before leaving, but health issues with her family have gotten in the way, which obviously, tragedy right there. Uh, hopefully everything ends up working out fine when it comes to the health regards and things like that. But it looked like Bonnie Ross was already kind of on her way out and just kind of waiting until the end of the year before heading out. But Microsoft just announced her replacements. Multiple people. They, apparently they have divided her job up into three people. Kind of tells you the workload she was working with was kind of crazy. But the restructuring now has these three people leading 343. Pierre Heinz will be the new head of 343 Industries. Now you might recognize his name if you guys have been on the channel for quite some time. He was actually in charge of the Master Chief Collection and really bringing that game back up to a proper, well, live service and also properly functioning as well. So you can thank him. He was the head behind that whole thing. So that's a rather promising move right there by Microsoft. Brian Kosky will become the general manager of Halo, coming from the head of marketing on the Halo side of things. Now it's gonna be the general manager, so a little bit more hands-on with what's happening with Halo. And Elizabeth Van Wick, who was the head of business, operations, and esports will now be taking, well, overseeing of just strictly just on the Halo side of things, not really dealing with like just Microsoft, but also, so she kind of like maybe moved, it really kind of took her position and promoted the position itself up to where Bonnie Ross's position was. I do like these moves as they're promotions from internally up rather than bringing random people outside of Halo or Microsoft or 343 and bringing them in. That just took the people from within and then promoted them, which I think would be the proper move to make. Uh, I'm very excited to see where here Pierre Heinz has to do with Halo, see what he can help make this franchise go in some certain directions. Now, I don't expect to see anything changing anytime soon when it comes to the roadmaps or the current content flow of Halo. Uh, this is, we're not going to really see anything changing when it comes to Halo, when it comes to this new management. Probably not until some new content comes in, so maybe towards this fall, you might see a little bit change when it comes to that. But for the most part, uh, they're kind of just kind of continuing the motions that are go going right now with Halo Infinite. So I'm not going to expect to see any kind of like overnight changes where things like, oh, Halo's amazing now because Bonnie Ross is gone. And we have three different people taking her job now. It's not going to be like that. I don't even think these changes will affect the Halo TV show, which it looks like it's starting production now for season two. I don't even think that's really going to change much either. And all of these positions aren't really anything directly affecting the game. They're more just kind of big, overarching, more business side of things when it comes to Halo rather than actual game content. That's where Joseph Staten, the head of creative, comes in. I know I saw a lot of comments on a video earlier today making the announcement of Bonnie Ross's departure of 343, saying, put Joe Staten in, put Joe Staten in. That would be great for maybe just strictly Halo, but he might not have the skill set to run an entire company. Yes, he was one of the higher ups at Bungie, but a creative writer. He wasn't the general manager or the person ahead of Bungie. Now, could Joseph Staten run an entire studio? I'm sure he could be very capable of doing so, but with the scale and bureaucracy that Microsoft has, I don't know if he really would be able to. I don't doubt his abilities. I would love to see him try, but it looks like they went a different route when it comes to the management of 343. Yeah, like anything that's on the player side of things, guys, I don't see changing anytime soon. Though it does sound like her departure is part of Halo Infinite's relative, let's say, failure, but more just like lack of ability to keep up with the wants of the customers. It seems like that was the biggest issue going with this game, like the content that was at launch was great. Though it was rather bare bones, it was really good. But the thing is that we haven't had any live service with this game. It was supposed to be a live service. The lack of content, the lack of transparency, it's really kind of built up. And clearly 343 has had the time to develop Halo Infinite and they just struggled on the way in. So it's really clear, obvious version of management issues that are going on. And it might be Microsoft being like, hey, you know what? It's been good. 15 years you've had, you've had plenty of time to get Halo running and it did really feel like Halo Infinite was going to be the last straw. 
for a lot of people at 343, maybe in 343 as a company. And I don't expect to see 343 ever leave, right? Because they're more the Microsoft team that works on Halo. So you'll never see like 343 get rebranded or renamed or something like that. You just see new people come in and out. Though it does either seem like doom and gloom or hopium, depending on your stance at 343's uh, point of view when it comes to their ability to work on Halo. But I did release this video talking about the Forge update, give you a little bit of hopium there. And I did kind of branch out, made a really cool like essay video about Call of Duty Modern Warfare and how you should kind of temper your expectations. But thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.